Chef Pennington here. Today in our Mother Sauce series, we're doing Espanol sauce. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Espanol in French means Spanish, and that's where the name comes from. It's not about actually speaking Spanish. And it's a dish that Escoffier made very, very famous. As, like I said, it's a mother sauce. So that's a base. It means that a lot of other sauces originate from this sauce that we're making today. So what we're doing there is we're browning up some butter. I always use high-quality butter. Kerrygold is the one I like. That's what was on the screen there a moment ago. And here's the cool addition. We're using some beef fat or beef bone marrow butter, which is a leftover product of making your homemade beef stock, which I'll have a link below, which is one of the ingredients that we need to make a high-quality Espanol sauce. So we're making a roux here. Cooking out the flour is the next step here. So we're going to get our flour in there. And this is an important process. What this does is it allows the, the flour to hydrate so that it doesn't have that gritty graininess that we never like in our sauce. So here we go. This is the key ingredient. They're all key ingredients, but this is one of the very key ingredients that makes this the Espanol is the addition of tomato. Now, some people like to add the tomato at the end. I like to do it in the beginning. The reason for that is tomato paste can be pretty strong flavor forward. So putting in the roux, flavoring the roux is going to allow the flavor to run all the way through the sauce and we're surely cooking out like we did to the flour, that rawness that we can get inside of tomato paste. Because tomato paste is concentrated cooked down tomato. It's really strong. Now here we're going to add in our homemade veal stock or beef stock. We're going to start off adding about a third of it. And we're going to get everything mixed up. We're going to allow it to start coming together. It's going to want to, since we have the heat on, it's going to want to start to thicken. Now it's not going to thicken a ton. You can see right there that the viscosity, the thickness changes a little bit. So that's why we're going to go ahead, and that's what we're looking for. Go ahead and add the rest of your beef stock there. Now we're going to stir, 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 and cook, 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 cook. And we're going to bring this up to the boil. This heat from the boil is what's going to really start activating the thickening process from our roux. And that's what our roux is, is a thickening agent. So this is a really important part. The reduction is going to concentrate the flavor, and it's going to make it really strong. And this is a strong flavored sauce. And that's in part awesomeness because sometimes you want big flavor in your sauce. So this takes a little bit of time and it's all preference. That's the cool part. Look, look how much the sauce is changing there. So the thickness, that's all up to you. The thicker you want the sauce, the more that you'll reduce it. And you can see right there, that's fairly thin still, because but it did still coat the back of a spoon, which does constitute a sauce at this point. Or this could be a base for a soup if you want to go there. All right, demi -glaze. What in the world is demi -glaze? You've heard this one before, probably. It's equal parts beef stock and espanol. And what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it down by half. You'll see there's our starting point after we've done our first reduction. You could add more beef stock or veal stock now and make a large batch and really cook it down. See how much it's cooked down already? You take it down as much as you like. The more you reduce, the stronger the flavor is going to be. And something that demi -glaze is really great for is something you can pull out of the refrigerator in a pinch and add to make one of your pan sauces or whatever your sauce you're trying to make and it's just a big flavor bomb it's really big flavor with a small product you could think of it like really high quality bouillon cube so reduce it down the thicker you get real important hope you guys enjoyed come join us on social media love to have you go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you like below will be the link all the instructions everything you need and you guys have the best